And welcome back. Right before the break, you saw where the cold front is. It's moving right through our area right now. Thankfully, we're not really going to start to feel the effects until tomorrow. Tonight will be a little chilly, but then tomorrow night, that's when it's really going to hit us. Some rain off in the northeast. Luckily, not a lot of moisture along with it down in our area. That's why you don't really see too many clouds. And we don't have any showers across the area, which is nice. So tonight, we'll be in the mid to upper 40s across the area. Under partly cloudy skies, those winds will be out of the north northwest 5 miles per hour. So there might be a little bit of a wind chill, maybe a couple of degrees. That's really about it, though. And then for tomorrow, yeah, southeastern U.S., we're going to be cooler, gusty winds across the area. Those winds are going to be out of the northwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Could be gusting higher at times, so be prepared for that. I want to show you this real quick. Even though we're not expecting any rain, we haven't seen uh, our, uh, our uh, models not have any precipitation on them in a while. We go through all day tomorrow, and we are clear. And I just thought I'd show that to you because that's some array of sunshine. It's some good news, even though our temperature is going to be at average. Our average is 58 degrees, so we're going to be hitting that across most of the area. And, you know, that's what to expect. It is winter after all. Thankfully, we're not going to dip super cold. The nights will be chilly, but we'll kind of stay this way. And like I told you last week, we've been looking at several weeks now of uh, the polar vortex potentially weakening and that eventually getting down to us. And we're going to start feeling the effects over the next couple of weeks. So cooler weather is in store for us, most likely to above average on precipitation. All right, so later this week, we do get some rain in the area. Just speaking of precipitation, on off to our west, it's going to be a little bit of a dip in jet stream. We'll be dry over our area for the majority of the time, but then eventually this rain will move in. And we're not expecting a mix or snow. We'll be above freezing, thankfully. Uh, the storm system is looking pretty stout so far. It's looking to make a pretty big snow swath right along pretty much the east central portion of the U.S., it's going to be a mess. For us, we're not expecting too much in the way of rain. Maybe a quarter to a half inch right now is all we're looking at. So that could change, as you've seen, but just be aware of that. Precipitation outlook from the 13th to the 17th, I mentioned, look at this. Most of the U.S. is actually uh, going to be above average. Now, this is a probability, not a, how much will be above average. So we could just be a half inch above average. But we're uh, right, in, right around a 50% chance of being above average, which is pretty good. And so expect some more rain showers. So. Your uh, forecast is brought to you by Richard Schwartz and Associates. And over the next three days, I told you we're going to be below average. So mostly sunny and cooler for Wednesday. Notice Wednesday night and Thursday night. It's going to be cold. We're going to dip below freezing. Thankfully, no precipitation. 54 for your Thursday, 55 for Friday. Increasing clouds Friday. It's going to have some showers and thunderstorms around the area on Saturday. 62 degrees, so we'll warm up some. 51 and cloudy for your Sunday. But look at the beginning portion of next week. While we are going to be below average in the lower 50s, and Monday night's looking pretty chilly, we're going to have sunshine, so there's a little ray of sun there for you, some positive notes, and we'll get to your Tuesday right around 56 degrees.